Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and um, a couple of your questions, one about activation of Windows 10 and Windows 11 and one by email with several questions that we'll go through in different videos about activation of other software and what it actually means uh, depending on what software you're using. So a lot of software, of course, are using product keys and a lot of software today are actually using online verification for activation. And, um, you know, most very expensive software, including Office or um, Photoshop, Illustrator, so on, all these software do online activation with the hardware you have. And, Frankly, the big problem with that is that it creates issues, and I've seen so many problems due to these activation of software through the years uh, when I was doing tech duties. Uh, in some cases, trying to reactivate something that was, you know, honestly purchased by a user was dreadfully complicated, um, and and personally, I think um, really overly complicated. I think the fact that um, most companies actually are thinking that we are thieves before honest people is creating a big, big problem. And I think companies need to relax those rules. And, um, you know, it's, it's crazy how I've seen frustrated people not even wanting to, you know, purchase uh, a software again because it was just so complicated. And this also happens with games, um, you know, games that you have to activate before you can use because you purchase them. Um, I've, I've gone through activation issues, uh, not with Windows per se, but with software that I've purchased and that was super complicated uh, because you're moving on to a new PC or you're changing things around. What are the effects of activation on the different software, first of all, in Windows. So Windows, of course, needs to be activated to be, first of all, legal, because the um, legality of the um, use, you know, if you look at the terms of services, if you look at the contract between Windows and the user, um, activation is a must. It is there to that if you're not using it, if it's not activated, you're, you're actually illegal in using Windows. But that said, what's the effect of having a Windows which state is not activated? Well, actually, it's very little. The first thing that is going to happen is on the bottom right here on your screen, you'll get a watermark. You'll get a little something that says that your product is not activated. So there's going to be a visible... Um, you know, watermark that's going to stay there. The other thing is in the settings, anything that is and has to do with personalization will have no access. You know, you got a th thought that they would have gone into more than that, but no, it's just a few parts of the settings that you can't change. And the uh, wallpaper on your screen will have the watermark. But for the rest, Windows will still function. You still get updates. And um, if you cope with those details of the watermark and the few settings that you can change, well, it works. So technically downloading a Windows 10, Windows 11 image from the Microsoft website, installing it on a new PC without activation, without paying for it, it's still going to work. But you're breaching the legal terms. Now, on other software, it depends. Um, if it's software that, um, like Photoshop, a lot of these are actually going to stop working or annoy you to a point where they get unusable. Uh, most of the big expensive software that I've seen actually just prevent you from using it or will limit you to very, very small amount of times with limited features. So they become pretty much useless, and there's a lot of companies that use that as a way of, um, you know, preventing you from using anything that's not activated. So, you know, some other software. The activation of the different software 
is independent from the activation of Windows. And this is something important to know. Windows has its own activation, its own way of working. Other software's activators and activation is the other software's problem. They don't have, they don't mix. Windows doesn't care about a, a Photoshop that's not activated uh, as Photoshop doesn't care about uh, Windows that's not activated. It's all independent software. But depending on the software that you use, some will prevent you from using it. Some will have you use it with limited features. And some will um, have you use it but give you limits of time. Um, it's like Windows. Uh, they've changed that in the past in Windows XP and Windows 7, I believe. Uh, every hour or so, they would like reboot your PC, something like that. It would shut down and restart uh, to annoy you to make sure that you activate. But uh, it's interesting how today they just you know keep it quiet and do, just do a few things, but not nothing major that you know will annoy most users, which is interesting. So activation, you know, it depends on the software you're using, and uh, each software has a different activator. Um, and for the activation, well, it often relies on a digital signature today. So digital signatures are done with the software looking at what you have on your PC, the parts, and it knows with the account that you gave, uh, product key sometimes, and the hardware, um, you know, serial numbers, it knows that, yep, that's the same computer, so yes, I can activate and, and work again. There's no problem there. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.